What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a quick one because um, I, I really want to engage y'all in the comment section on this video because I heard this quote from your man, James Borrego, and it made me sick to my stomach. But sometimes I be tripping. So I want to see if y'all listen to this. I'm going to tell y'all what I think. And then let me know in the comment section what you think about this as well. Because sometimes your boy AB be off. And, and, I, and, and I want you to let me know. Let's get into it. Triple B's! AB the hero. Back at it, baby. Alright, so first things first, uh, thank y'all for sliding down on, on, on the op, the like button, and, and turn that boy black and blue. We're going to get into this video here. Alright, so this clip here, um, this is after the Knicks game, okay? This is right after the game in which LaMelo scored 32 points in the first three quarters of a game and where the Knicks was hot. The only thing keeping these Hornets into the game was LaMelo just going off, alright? Now, LaMelo finished with 32 points, didn't score again in the fourth quarter, I mind you. So, that's how hot he was, 32 points in the fourth, in three quarters. I thought he was going for 40, but he did not enter the game again until six minutes left, right? 12-minute quarters, that means he missed the first six minutes of the fourth quarter after scoring 32, all right? So, after the game, the reporters asked JB, Two important questions. What did you think of LaMelo's performance? All right. And he didn't come back in the fourth quarter until six minutes. Why was that? I want you to think of three things before I play this audio. One, if you're a coach and you got a guy who go you 32 in the first quarter, how do you feel about that? Okay. Two, if you got a guy give you 32 in the fourth quarter, he also had two fouls at the end of that third quarter, like, do you bring him back in the fourth quarter to continue the hot streak? And three, is this not the most semi-disrespectful shit you ever heard? Let's get into it. What did you see from LaMelo tonight? Quick fouls at the end of the third quarter. Yeah, I thought he played well. I thought, you know, I'll, I'll go back and watch the film, but I thought he was aggressive tonight. Um, I'll have a better idea after I watch the film and uh, assess both sides of the ball as well. Didn't play until the six minute mark, but also played 39 total, had those two fouls right at the end of the third. How much did that go into not playing until the six minute mark? I'm sorry? The six minute mark in the fourth is when Lamelo entered the game again. How much of those two quick fouls at the end of the third is going to make that decision? Or just well, he played, you know, I. We tweaked our rotation there just because we were trying to make a run, and um, so he ran the whole fir uh, the whole third quarter, I guess, right there. So that was just his rest period. Um, the the fouls didn't have a, a whole lot of factors into that. Did you hear that? My man asked him. What do you think about Lamelo's game? um tonight we did all right um i need to really watch it some more and just so i could see you know what i mean what how would it look like on the offense and the defense end before i could really say if you watch that game with two eyes anybody in a mama know that he had a hell of a game that's all you gotta say damn the young stud really played like an all-star tonight. 32 points in the in three quarters. Just wish we could have got it done uh, in the fourth. How can't you say that, dude? I, I just got into, we were having this debate, and this is why I said earlier, I want to take this to the comment section. Because um, somebody was telling me, I, uh, we, I did a video posted about LeVar and, uh, you know, talking about coaches holding Melo back. And they were like, oh, the Melo hold back group. Um, and, uh, but JB, uh, you know, he had the two fouls late, and, and people don't want to talk about that, is why he didn't bring it back in. He says right here, it wasn't the two fouls. I didn't play him on purpose for six minutes after he had 32 points in the first three quarters. It didn't have nothing to do with the fouls. I just had a lineups and rotations in to, to, to make us come back. 
That was his rest period. That's what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about treating my dog like a superstar, bro, go back. Watch the night when Kyrie gave you 60, 70, um, KD going for 43, 50, and see how much rest period they got in the fourth quarter. You in a game where you scratch, scratching and clawing, trying to get back, and you got a guy who gave you 32 and three quarters, and you like, well, I'm gonna let him rest for six minutes. Game time minutes, right? So not to mention that the quarter ended, there's a break there. Then the, the game starts. There's all types of breaks. Even when they try to put him in in the six minute mark, um, they, they the timeouts and the fouls, it's, it's a lot of time. We talking about six minutes game time being damn near 30 minutes to 40 min 30 minutes of actual time. Am I tripping? Is this wild? I need to watch the film on that performance to be able to tell you if he played good or not. After giving me 32, nine, and I believe it's like seven. I'm not sure, let me see. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, he played a lot in the third quarter. So we were down and we needed to make some runs. So I just left him out for six minutes in the fourth quarter. I, I, I consistently talked about I'm not the type who be like yo fire the dude fire I want to see you get better and I feel crazy because the game previous to this I talked about how I saw him the game was coming down the line he was like get Melo the ball Melo Melo and I'm like yo he he, he doing something he's starting to get there and then I see this and in the video I did after this I cut him all kind of slack Oh, you know, he got the two fouls late. Probably was why you held him out. I did that too. I said all of that. But come on. If you want to hold LaMelo to this unrealistic expectation of, of greatness in order for him to, to be able to play and do all of these things, please at least be critical of the coach as well. And hold the coach to a perfect thing. If LaMelo going to make one, two turnovers, and you're like, well, he had two turnovers. He had four turnovers. Then what I want you to do is anytime the rotation is off, anytime um, the, the play ain't drawn up right, call it out. Every If everybody got to be perfect, then make sure everybody being perfect. But this is crazy. Even the fact to think that Oubre only plays six minutes. You took LaMelo out and you ain't even play Oubre. You played, I love IT. I think he's good. I think there's some space for him. But you went with IT, who I believe was like one for eight or two for eight or something on the night. That's what I got to say. Let me know. I'm, am I tripping? Y'all know better than me. Shemay Man, ABD here on out. Peace. No, not peace, plus one, triple B's, we out.